Five yeah. o'clock. So <laughs> shall we? Shall we get you all set? We're supposed to be checking Where on that been? forever. Okay. Well, welcome to the Acton School Committee meeting on uh, Thursday, September twelfth, two thousand and nineteen, and we will begin our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do we have any adjustments to the agenda? Uh, we do. We can strike number 10 executive session. We don't have a need to meet in an executive session this evening. Okay. All right, and the, do we have any comments from the public? <coughs> Quiet public, okay. Then let's move on to our celebration of learning, and uh, I'm going to have Mr. Ross tell us all about it. Sure, this. the celebration of learning is really focused on the opening of school, so I'm going to move out of the way. Mike's going to show you a snippet of the video from Friday's first assembly with the kids, and then I'll just fill you in very briefly with how school opened this year.
Thanks to John. Uh, so we're going to follow that up, huh? So first, you know, first assembly, you can see um, just how fun the first assembly is where the kids get to introduce themselves. We also didn't want to take, if you want to see the whole video, it's on our website. We introduced our bus drivers, and um, we had some new bus drivers, and we introduced uh, Mrs. Puffer's the new GT teacher, and we introduced Mrs. Good, uh, Miss Goodale, who you're going to meet tonight as well. So we did that, and did you notice we're all wearing our blue acting yes. t-shirts yes. that first day? So, nice. just to kind of follow up a little bit about our wonderful uh, first day of our first assembly and our first week of school, um, everything is really running pretty smoothly. The, this was a very smooth opening. Uh, we had two great PD days uh, in late August and a wonderful address from our chair to the staff based on PBIS. It was so good that our consulting psychologist who spoke after, who did the training, couple hour training after her, and Judy had left made a comment. She said, that's like the coolest school board chair I've ever met, ever. <laughs> yeah. Like really gets the whole PBIS yeah. thing. So we have a, you know, a, a, a psychologist talking to us about PBIS and there's, there's Judy welcoming us with a little, uh, with a little skit sort of with PBIS. It was very, very good. Um, transportation is running excellent. I know some of you had some questions. How's it going with the new company? It's going quite well. Um, first couple weeks of school, we always have some busing issues in regards to time, and are they on the right bus and the wrong bus? And we have E and B in the mornings running pretty close to each other at the Act Fox's Ridge end of town. A couple of kids got on the wrong bus first day, but other than that, they made it to school, they just were on the wrong bus. But other than that, really no issues whatsoever with our bus company. It's going quite well. And um, yeah, and soccer's already started, so we're already, already into athletics. So that's just kind of a quick report out on a very good beginning of school, and um, I'll have a few more things when we get to that part of the agenda. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's move on to our consent agenda, and I'll look for a motion to accept the consent agenda. So moved. Seconded. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Five and all. <coughs> okay, and um, now we're at number five. And did you have some more reports? There's a few. That you'd like to there's get? a few things that aren't really about opening of school that I think are important in the first meeting of the school year to go over. Although you have most all of this in your report, I thought it would be good to put it out there in the public, and it, and it will be brief. Uh, the first thing is we're really focusing on the first six weeks of school, uh, focusing on developing relationships with students. Not that we're not teaching and learning academics and standards, but we're really front-loading the, re the relationship um, so that if we spend that time up front, it'll really give us some benefits for the students and the teachers for the rest of the school year. An example, just one little thing that came out of the PBIS committee, and I really need to give Jen Goodwin, you know, the, the uh, kudos for this. This is awesome. She came up with an idea, ran it by the committee, which is a <coughs> positive staff referral. This one's covered because the student doesn't know about it till tomorrow, so you don't know who this is. And in the morning we do the announcements. So and so come on down to the office and they're like, what's this about? But I always say for a positive reason and then they come down and I read what the teacher happened to say about this student. There's a photo, we're gonna put the photo out with the teacher and I and the student. Parent gets a photo and a write up and it goes home and it's, oh, I had one parent write nice. back, this is the best news I ever had. I've never had the school reach out when he's ever done anything good <laughs> in five years. And I'm like, oh, okay. yeah, it, it's been That's really, cool. really neat. Um, the standards recovery program was a success with 16 students this summer. You saw our totals is 229 students at AES. We're about four different than we were last year. I think we were at, two, we were at uh, 232 last year, uh, opening school. But I think we have a few more high school students than we had last year. We're 84 at Sanford High School right now. Um, we've done our four fire drills. And thanks to Andy and Kim, we have our new mission statements in every classroom as of today. Awesome. And these will be out for open house, which is coming right up. And we're going to do a big a version of this, but much bigger, for four places in the school. Both ends of the school, the foyer and the gym. Nice. Good. So those will be all done. Just another quick update. And a um, couple things for the community. Open house is September 17th, which is Tuesday night at 6 p.m. with a 515 
uh, spaghetti dinner hosted by the PTG. If you can make it, it's a great community event. The sixth grade welcome to middle school camping trip is September 19th and 20th, and I'll be on that trip with the kids. Miss Blodgett and I are the staff members going this year. Where are you going? Uh, we're going to the Sebago Lake State Park for the night, for, and then in the morning we're going to do some team building and climb the backside of Pleasant Mountain off the Fire Warden's Trail. Oh. And we'll be back by 5.30 on Friday. That's always the, the whole um, theme behind that is welcome to middle school. It's very different from fifth to sixth grade. Mm -hmm. That's been a success for the last three years. And picture day is scheduled for September 26th. And that's it. All right. Thank you. Do any board members have any questions on, from any of the other administrative staff on their reports? I do have a question. Um, technology. Um, something about without a computer lab for the first time. <coughs> so what are we doing with the computer lab itself? The lab has been turned into um, the resource room for OTPT speech is a shared um, resource. It's also um, facilitating uh, special needs students. So what did we do with the computers that were in there? Um, I've prepped them all um, and that's something I'd like to talk to John about in, in more uh, detail or depth. Um, we're going to go through the process of how to uh, decommission them. Okay. Um, we have a policy on property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had discussed with you, but I thought of uh, potentially maybe offering them to uh, needy families in, in town. Mm -hmm. That's something we can talk about next week. Well, what we'll do is we'll look at our options beyond who who within the town departments might need them, mm -hmm. and then any, anywhere else we might need them in school. And then, as Mike Mike got to the third level, which is then we can kind of make a decision on once those two needs are met, what we do with them. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we have a disposal or whatever policy, yeah, you know. Yeah. I know some have been sold off This isn't something past. we're just going to get rid of. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean by disposal, I mean just oh, make sure we don't own them anymore, right? What is it called? I don't know. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there is yeah. a policy in the process. There is a policy, yeah. but yeah. 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 It was supposed to be offered to the town um, before they first. To make them offered. Which yeah. we've, I, I donated four or five of them to the library. The rest of the town didn't want them. So we're at the next phases of the process. And Andy, I was wondering about the light bulbs. Um, These yes. are just fluorescent that were changed out, or were they changed yes. to LED? No, just uh, fluorescents. But the problem that we had throughout the building was, you know, we had some that were changed, some that hadn't been changed, so some were yellow, some were bright. And when you look into the classrooms, it just didn't look good because it, was, it looked really spotty. So we went through and we changed pretty much all the bulbs in all the classrooms. All the common areas. Did a company hallways. come in and do it? No, we no, did it. Oh. We did. Um, cafeteria, kitchen. There aren't many that we didn't change. So they're all the same now. So they're all the same. There's yeah. an issue with the men's room lighting. I look so much older in the mirror. <laughs> 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 I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think Andy changed the mirror in there yeah. too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why it looks nice and bright in here. Okay. No, that's all the questions I have. I, I just wanted to say one thing that I was impressed with was the fact that John invited all the bus drivers to the opening day so that um, to kind of make them feel like they're a part of the of the overall staff. They were all introduced and they all mixed and mingled and they hung around a little bit afterwards uh, too and they were talking to different people and. Um, apparently they've been in quite a few schools and they're quite impressed with the way our school looks and with the way our grounds look so that was that was a complimentary to our custodial staff too but I thought that was a great idea that you included them we're trying to and incorporate them a little bit more into the yeah. culture yeah. than we did before and we have an on-site bus manager I'll have him come in next month hmm. he's not our employee he's the employee of the bus company but he's here a lot Mm -hmm. And he can kind of talk about his job and how's it going. It would be nice for you to meet him. Okay. Good. Everybody all set with number four? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's move on to number five. Progress monitoring reports. That's me, I think. NWEA, yeah. yeah. So we're in the middle of NWEA testing um, for the fall. Um, purpose for that is to then um, take a look at the data, um, look at any dips over the summer, 
um, and to group and regroup kids for um, reading and math, um, whether it's within a classroom or across grade levels um, or within a cohort. Um, we're doing the push-in for Title I this year, um, where we're school-wide, which means uh, Mrs. Driscoll and Mrs. Smith will be able to go into the classroom and support. So we've been working on building a schedule that provides every um, classroom with that additional support during reading so that those students who are scoring, scoring a bit below at this time will get um, not only some time for the, from the teacher in a small group, but will also get some time um, with the Title I staff or somebody, another adult. So sort of a double dose um, during that reading block time. And we'll use um, the NWEA results. We also have um, the Title I staff is doing some reading assessments um, again from, um, from the spring just to reassess the, some of the Title I kids or kids on RTI plans. Um, and we're also dibbling, um, I believe, K-1 and maybe 2, um, doing the dibbles assessment. So that's what the last couple of weeks, and we'll be finishing all um, assessment by next Friday, I believe. Um, and then um, we'll be well on our way to getting those reading groups and math groups up and running. Very good. I just want to say that the third grader that I know, my grandson, um, he's like, I had two hours of testing oh, today. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. Sorry. It's the way it is. <laughs> Big boy now. Yeah. 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 It does take a while for some of them. And so it does, you know, it might not have been him testing for two hours, but when I don't know. the time he said two hours, start it found to finish, it hard to believe. Um, but I don't yeah. know. It might be a while. Yeah. So. And I'll have those results. You know, um, next, next board month. meeting, we'll, yeah. we'll take a look at where kids are and. Um, Great. Yeah. All right, let's move on to number seven. Um, we have no report from any of our committees tonight. To but I do want to say we can get rid of seven point three. The okay. negotiation committee is not meeting. We don't need to put that on. So no, no, we yeah. don't need to do that for another couple of years. Right. Right. Okay. We'll kind of the boy look late. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm just okay. saying. Sounds good. All right. Number eight is no old business. <coughs> so let's move on to number nine, which is new business. And uh, I'll turn this over huh? again to right. Mr. Sure. Ross. So I have a nominee for you tonight. Um, um, as you know, having Sally Puffer move to GT <coughs> created a uh, opening at third grade. Exactly. So we interviewed mid-August it was getting close to school starting probably late August to be honest with you and I said to Patty hold off on any letters going home because we're not sure you know for third grade what, what, what we're gonna get here but boy did we do well so Miss Tabitha Goodale is here tonight and um, she's had some substitute teaching experience in the Sockville School Department did her student teaching at the State College Area School District in Pennsylvania where she was also doing her grad work and practicum at Brewer Community School in the fourth grade has a Master's of Art in, edu in Educational Theory and Policy. So I think we can have some very interesting conversations yeah. after work sometime about, about that. And uh, Bachelor's of Science in Elementary <coughs> Education and Political Science, Concentration in Social Studies from the University of Maine. So this is her first professional teaching position. And I walked in, I said, mm -hmm. how'd your first day on the job go <laughs> ever in education? And she lit right up and said, this was wonderful. So, <laughs> yeah. it was great fit. And I think she's doing a great job right out of the gate. So I just wanted you to, why not you wave or say hello to our Welcome. school committee? Welcome. Welcome. Thank right. you. Yes. It has been a whirlwind from <laughs> the interview to now, but I, this entire community has been so welcoming. And the amount of support I've been getting as a first year teacher has been great. So I assume she has a mentor. So who? Well, an official mentor is probably going to be through certification, but you're the team leader and right next door. So you're like the yeah. mentor. I'm actually her mentor. You are actually the certification are, yeah. mentor, too. Yeah. So you wear three hats. Neighbor, cohort leader, and mentor. <laughs> so she's awesome. <laughs> she's going to get great guidance. And she's got Patty. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, welcome. Yep. So we have to vote. You, you want that number for the vote? Yeah. Okay. You want to write it down? I'll give it to you. It's... Um, if you're going to make the motion, it's an MA step zero. 40,310. So I'll look for a motion to uh, nominate 
Tabitha Goodale as a third grade teacher. I'll make the motion to nominate Tabitha Goodale at MA Step Zero, $40,310. Second that. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Have it on. Good. Thank you, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> Officially, even though school started. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's kind of a funny way we do business, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> 912, adoption of policy meeting, dates and times. So Kim and I worked on this a bit. I asked her to type them up and share them with everybody. She's reached out to the policy committee to make sure these times work for them and they work for Kim's <laughs> four-day schedule. So we're going to start rolling in October. Okay. okay. And the dates and the dates are in front of you right there. Yeah. What, what time do you guys meet? 8.30. 8.30? All right, but we don't have to vote on that. No. no, that was informational. We wanted you to know that policy was going to get up and running. Well, and we um, do the agenda. The, yeah. All the dates will be on the agenda. So we'll the okay. okay. And then we'll publish our, you know, all the dates that we have. We also are meeting as ad team. We have our own internal calendar for ad team meetings and things like that. But we want this will go out publicly as to when because policy meetings are public meetings. Right. And then of course we'll tackle the budget dates just after the holidays. Yeah. I let Jen know at the town hall that um, that we changed it to Thursday night. And Kim Stacy Horn, who's our liaison, she's the liaison this year. Mm -hmm. um, for the uh, from the selectment to the to the school committee, so they got that information, and we're thankful to know that we're on Thursdays at five now. I mean, do you think we should put something on the reader board saying school committee meetings changed? When you say reader board, you mean out here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, after Tuesday, I need something, so that would be a good one, because it says spaghetti supper and open house. So now I know what we're going to put up next. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Just meeting the second Thursday. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, because people aren't used to that. Yeah. Okay. How long do you want that up for? Just asking because I'm going to be asking for the, the book fair. fair. Yeah, yeah. Day. One of you, are you right after? Yeah. You're, you're the first week of October. Hall we'll give it, we'll give it the right. rest of that week. Yeah. How's that sound? Sounds good. All I'll, right. I'll post it on what's up in Acton too. Okay. So we'll have it on the, have it on Facebook. And you know, we're going to adjourn for a second. Can I say one more thing? Sure. I wanted to kind of wait to. If you've noticed walking through this building and these grounds, how wonderful this place looks, mm -hmm. and wait till open house, everybody's going to go. We have a great school here, and I want to thank Andy and his crew. They worked hard all summer. This is our first official meeting since kids are back, and I said it in August, but there weren't as many people around. Yeah. And uh, Jim, John, Will, Andy, they really had their shoulder to the wheel all summer long, and it, and it you can tell when you walk around. This yeah. place is always mm -hmm. impeccable, and the, and the grounds as well, so I just wanted to make sure. Thank you. thank you for that, Andy. For we, re work. we really do have a great team. You do. And uh, I thank the school committee for the support. And, you know, you guys always give me the resources that I need to keep things going. So thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And all the skylights were fixed. Yeah, skylights fixed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have new pedestrian signs out there, too, I noticed coming yes, in. Yes, I put a couple in. Those are good. It's kind of a precaution. Yeah. yeah. Kids across Milton Mills Road. And mm. yeah. Yep. Try to keep safe. Good what to happened see. to the owl? <laughs> the owl, I don't know. I dropped, I dropped it off. It's been relocated? To rehab, yeah, yeah. right? You it's, mean, uh, I know, I know, but I mean. It's in, it's in rehab. Oh, I've got a call for it. It's update. rehabitable? Yeah. Okay. They do one of two things with the owl. They either have to put it down if it's if the injuries are serious, um, or they, they may re relocate it. They said that usually they try to bring it back into its home territory, right. which would be back in our neighborhood, but yeah. it would be well, so it wouldn't be a nuisance. Yeah. Or sometimes they said if, if the animal has kind of a unique personality that they'll keep it there as kind of oh, okay. um, yeah. something that the public can come and visit. And they yeah. had all kinds of stuff down there. Yeah. We, just, we didn't really have time to yeah. visit all the birds and the animals, but yeah. it, was a, it was quite a facility. It's, it was mm -hmm. pretty neat. Yep. Well, they have false teeth for people. They can get false feet talons yeah. for this <laughs> owl. <laughs> I, yeah, I got some equipment in the wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get into treatments. I just got to talk about it. <laughs> Here you go. Well, I think it, it, it definitely has a personality because it got to meet a lot of people yeah, yeah. in its injured state. And a lot of people got up close and personal with the owl to take pictures and things like that from over in the. I've seen quite a few pictures that were taken over in the cemetery. And then uh, Andy had some great pictures that were taken out here. And 
Probably my favorite is the one where he's looking very stern, saying, no trespassing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but when stuff like that happens, I always say, only in Acton. Oh, that's right. Acton. Only exactly. in Acton. Okay, well, thanks for that. Okay, then I think our next thing is an adjournment. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to adjourn at 525. Wow. We're setting records tonight. Oh, second it. We moved and seconded that we adjourn. Any discussion? All in favor? We didn't have a chance to discuss it. We weren't all in favor. <laughs>